What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Last Wraps Baseball Card Break. And today we are doing day two of our BBM version 2 2020 uh, cards uh, that we're going to open. Japanese baseball cards, NPB uh, variety. And um, yesterday we opened six packs and we said we we're going to do a quarter of the box per day. And actually there's 20 packs in the box. So we went one over the limit. So today we are going to do four packs. And the uh, thing with this break is, is we're taking our time slowly to go through and to explain uh, what the cards are and uh, who they are and so on and so forth. And so it's our first look at the BBM uh, Series 2. And so the North American audience and the English speaking audience may not necessarily have seen these before uh, as opposed to maybe on some of the Japanese style videos so without further ado we're going to break it and yesterday as you know we uh we have a, a little bit of a hard time getting into these things so uh we like to pinch the cards down and then we like to come and attack it with the scissors and so we know we're not gonna clip any of the cards by pushing them down a little bit and now we can uh, get ourselves the break to open so four packs only today and so we're gonna see what we get we uh we did a, had a pretty good haul yesterday so we kick it off with Nick Martinez, and uh, Nick Martinez had his time in the major leagues. If I'm not mistaken, he was with Texas, maybe even with Detroit. And there he is with the Nippon Ham Fighters, so there he is today. And then we have uh, Ryo Suke Tatsumi of the Rakuten Golden Eagles. He's an outfielder. Our next one is uh, Manabu Mima of the Chibo Lote Marines, a right-handed pitcher. And our next one, we have a Groundmaster. And the Groundmaster is Naoki Miyanishi of the Nippon Ham Fighters, left-handed pitcher. And so that's kind of cool. I don't think that's anything special with regards to him. Uh, there's no number on the back of that card, but it is a uh, one of the insert type cards. And then, of course, we have a ceremonial first pitch. And this is in the Koshin Stadium, so that's obviously home of the Hanshin Tigers. And I'm not sure who Erica Toda is, but uh, her glove side finish isn't very good. And she's definitely leading with the elbow. That could be a Tommy John surgery uh, candidate right there. But uh, kind of cool picture. And then there is Tomo Yuki Sagano. So as I said yesterday, Sagano, he, uh, he was the one who was posted, ended up not signing with a big league team. And uh, he's going back to the Murray Giants, apparently, four years at 40 million U.S. But he does have some opt-out clauses, and he is only 31, if I'm not mistaken. So where is he here? He was born in uh, 89, so he'll be 32 this year. But he does apparently have some opt-out clauses, so he would like to try to get to the big leagues, and he's a pretty decent arm. And then we have Kazuki Yoshimi of the, of the um, Chinichi Dragons, right-handed pitcher. And our last but not least, we have Aaron Curry. Aaron Curry, who started the season hot for the Hiroshima Carp, but... Um, Kind of then see this is cold for the Hiroshima Carp, and that's Aaron Curry. And uh, here comes our next pack. So we've got uh, one pack in the book, so we got three more packs to go. So let's see what this is going to play out for us in this one. Uh, pack number two, and of course, as I said, you know we're uh, we're ripping them slowly and talking about some of the players and showing the cards and. You know, obviously the backs and the fronts and everything else. It's not a regular break that you see here in North America. Obviously, it's Tops and Panini dominate the scene. Okay. So let's see what we can do with some Japanese baseball. And so the first one here is we got uh, Suzuki Genda of the Cebu Lions. Uh, he's got a pretty good bat. He's an infielder, and he's got a little bit of juice in it. So there's Genda. And there we have Chihiro Kaneko of the Nippon Ham Fighters. Uh, pitcher for them and then our next one we have is Yuki Matsui of the Rakuten Golden Eagles and uh, there is Yuki Matsui our next one is Haruki Nishikawa a outfielder for the Nippon Ham Fighters this guy actually was posted as well and another player who didn't get uh, signed really only the only one coming from Japan this year is going to be Kohei Arihara who inked the deal with the Texas Rangers, and we're yet to see him. Now, there is Soshi Togo, and so for those of you who are new here, this is a paper uh, feel to the card. It's The uh, autograph is a facsimile autograph, 
And this card is specially numbered out of 100. It's number 89 out of 100. And of course, uh, this guy Togo here, young pitcher, very young arm. He had a very good season in his debut for the uh, for the Giants. And he was born in 2000. So he, uh, he turned 20 years old during the season last year. Numbered card out of a hundred. That's a pretty sweet, uh, pretty sweet card. Uh, we've got um, Subasa Aizawa of the Hiroshima Carp. He's a catcher. Uh, he's their backstop for them. And then we've got a, an American player. We've got Michael Peoples, and he is with the Yokohama Dana Bay Stars. And then we close out this pack with Utah Iwasada of the Hanshin Tigers, a left-handed pitcher. So. We're halfway done today's break, so let's see how we do in the in the next pack. And this pack's kind of got a weird feel to it, so maybe we've got something a little bit different. I in this, I've never actually pulled an autograph or a relic or anything like that in the flagship set. Of course, in the uh, the other sets for the teams I have, but nothing here. So it'd be kind of cool to see if we can maybe actually get ourselves a real autograph or a relic but um maybe it was just a false alarm so we've got keita nakagawa of the oryx buffaloes he's an infielder don't know much about him and then we got another cross blossoms this is the insert this is a pretty cool with all the cherry blossoms going on there's uh nobuhiro matsuda of the fukuoka soft bank hawks of course fukuoka he's an infielder there uh won another nippon uh championship this year there's another Hawk player, infielder Kenta Imamiya, and uh, he is a, uh, another Hawk. And then we've got ourselves another Proud Ace. So this is the third Proud Ace of the, uh, of the box, and this one is of Takahiro Norimoto of the Rakuten Golden Eagles. And so there he is there. That's the Proud Ace of their staff. And then we bring in, there's another, this is turning into a Soshi Togo box. So this is a breaking uh, now, and I'm looking on the back side. No, it is not a uh, numbered parallel. So breaking now, kind of cool, uh, is Soshi Togo, the young right-hander, the 20-year-old right-hander for the Yamuri Giants. And then we've got uh, Tomo Taka Sakaguchi of the Yakult Swallows, who is an outfielder for them and there he is there and there is the rookie himself the big gun for the Hiroshima carp that's Masato Morishida and uh, Morishida he was uh, 10 and 4 this year for the carp with an ERA of I think 194 um, outstanding rookie season and obviously with uh, Daichi Oshera him Aaron Curry leading the way for the carp uh, brings a pretty decent uh, lineup uh, for those guys and then our last card, we have Shota Imenaga. I don't know where Shota fits in um, with the Dana Bay Stars, but I believe this is the ace of their staff. And so we'll find out a little bit later. There's Imenaga, Yokohama Dana Bay Star pitcher. And of course, you know, 2020 at that time, uh, he was already slicing and dicing with 13 innings pitched at an ERA of 138. I don't know why they put partial stats on the version 2 cards for the 2020 era. Because, of course, the season hadn't finished yet uh, by the time these cards had come out. And so here comes our last pack. And obviously we're looking for last pack magic. I don't know. Obviously no thick cards in that one. So we'll see what we're able to pull in this last uh, particular batch here. So we kick it off with Tets. Uh, Tatsushi Masuda of the Cebu Lions, right-handed pitcher. And then our next one, we've got another cross blossoms, and that's uh, Ryusi uh, Kawano for the Nippon Ham Fighters, a lefty. And then we get into uh, Jabari Blash. Jabari Blash with an interesting stance there for the Rakuten Golden Eagles. That stance didn't exactly parlay into a big-time season for him, so that's Jabari Blash. And then we're back to these big artists. I don't know what that is, but that's Neftali Soto of the Yokohama Dina Bay Stars. Uh, Neftali Soto uh, played with the Cincinnati Reds and a few other teams. And so here comes another team card. We haven't seen a whole lot of these, but there is a Chiba Lote Marine uh, team checklist. And of course, that's about how the stands look this year. Not a whole lot of action over there as well. Uh, a lot of fans in the stands. 
And there's Yuki Nishi. We talked about him a little bit yesterday. Yuki Nishi was the one who uh, hit a home run. First time two starting pitchers on opening day hit home runs. And he for Hanshin and Daichi Osera for the Carp homered on opening day playing against one another in the same game. And now we have Kota Nakagawa of the Yomori Giants. And, of course, uh, left-handed pitcher. And the last one is Yudai Ono of the Chunichi Dragons, a left-handed arm. All right, everybody. Well, that's the uh, that's the break for today. I don't think uh, any of these were any more special. I will go back and have a look. I don't think we've pulled any um, short prints to this point, but we may have. I'd like to know what that Imanaga card is, if we'll see that one again. If that one happens to be a short print. But uh, sometimes you can just see a little bit different when they have, when they're not in there and they're not doing stuff. I, I'm curious to know if that might have been a short print. And, of course, we're happy to get a Morishita. He's the uh, star arm that they have over there right now, the up-and-coming one, and then, of course, everybody else. All right, everybody. Well, once again, you've watched another Last Rouse Baseball video production. We uh, hope you all have a great day. Come on back and see us again tomorrow. We're going to do another five-pack break of this, and uh, we'll see what we're able to come up with. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you all again.